Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop, Photoshop 221, but same for earlier versions as well, and how you can use smart objects and shapes with a, a blur, so a Gaussian blur. So I'm just going to remove this design. You can see I've got a blur and I've got various things attached to it. So first thing to do, let's just go down to the custom shape tool, maybe in different position depending on your uh, Photoshop. So custom shape, and I'm just going to use it as a shape layer and I'm just going to go for a very basic shape. Now, if you haven't got these shapes, what you need is the shapes panel and all the panels can be found by a window. So layers and shapes, you can find them over here, legacy shapes, which you can find just by going here to legacy shapes. Okay, let's just add that design. So there is the initial arrow. So what you can do, you can change color, of course. That's one thing that's really quite useful for these. You can maybe make it blue or green or whatever, any color you want. So I'm just gonna go with a blue. You can change it at a later point. That's the great thing about this design. It's still live. You can still edit it at any point. You can normally edit it via properties. Again, window and properties. So before I go and add an effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a smart object. Generally, I like smart objects. Sometimes they're not so useful. If you like using brushes and things, you might not want smart objects. But if you're using gen effects and things, just go for layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. So it's now a smart object. The smart object, you can go over here and you can see in the layers, you've just got this little there pictures there. Now what you can do, you can if you want to edit any time you can double click on that. I'll do that later. However, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply an effect. So filter and blur and Gaussian blur. And then I'm just going to apply fairly yeah, 76, something like that. Make it nice and blurred. And what you can also do, you now notice you've got a smart filter here. You can remove smart filters. You can edit smart filters. So you can click there. Oops, click there I mean. Click there the Gaussian blur. Actually, that's weird. Yeah, you can disable. Didn't do it, didn't respond when I first clicked it. So what you can also do, double click there so you can bring it up again and you can modify that setting. So you maybe don't want it as high, so you can put it down to 40 or something. What you can also do is you've got over here, you've got these blending as well. So you can double click on there and you can bring that up and you can change there. So you can just run through some of those, linear burn, lighten, and you can get a variety of different some interesting different designs just by going to that. So it certainly shouldn't be ignored, that side little thing over there. Now what you can do, of course, you can add additional blurs. You don't have to have just one. You can always go and think, you know what? I want a filter and I can go for blur and Gaussian blur and I can just add another one. Click OK and you'll see as soon as you do that, you've got two down there and you can edit it. So double click there and again, you can go for that, darken, Lighten, difference, overlay, and so on, so on. So you can see, you can create. But also, the thing is that always remember is that always this is still editable. It's still live, this shape. Now, obviously, you just can go over here. You can move it around. You can rotate, and it will come up with this little panel. Okay, perfectly reasonable. I want to resize it, and then press return. You can double click there. And you go into here. Now you might want to change this design, this, this shape. Maybe you want to edit the shape itself. So what you can do, you can go for the direct selection tool. So you just go over here and this might be in a completely different position depending on your Photoshop. Direct selection tool and then because you can customize it via here and you can just select the individual points. Just move it around. Yes, definitely do. Just change it and oh, maybe that's over there as well. So you can make a different arrow design very quickly. And also what you can do, you can always go and add, let's just add some special effects. Maybe you can even add two. So let's just hold down the alter option key. Well, now let's first go to a layer, layer style and drop shadow. So you can just add a drop shadow. So you can go over here and you can double click on there, change the color. So maybe you go for green. You see, oh no, I don't want them. Let's just go double click on that again. Maybe a lighter green and so on and so on. So you can change the color. Also you can go over here, see the custom shape tool and you can change the color even more. So you can decide, you know what? I want a gradient there. So something like that, a very basic gradient. 
And you can also add, of course, a bevel. And so let's go for a bevel as well. Not gonna spend any time working on, on that bevel design. However, so you've got that design there. What you can then do, of course, is you can close the document again and you can go back and you will notice as soon as you do that, save, that you've got that changed design there. And you've still got your blurs to it. Now hold down the ultra option key. And of course what you can do, you can select those designs and then you can go to a layer and you can go and turn those into a smart object, convert to a smart object. So with those as a smart object, you can then go for, let's go to filter and maybe obviously Gaussian blur. You could use any of the other blurs as well, but Gaussian blur, just might as well go for Gaussian blur all the way through. And you can apply it like that. Click OK. Now, of course, the blur is applied over the whole thing. I don't want the blur to be applied over the whole design. What I want is it just to be maybe this lower half or the top half. Well, what you've got, you've got this option here. You've got a little, just click there and you've got a mask. So that is the mask for that. So you can just go over to like brush tools or the gradient tool. And I'm using the gradient tool. Using standard gradient black to white and also linear. And what you can do, just simply apply it like that. And you can see instead of, let's just, that part's blurred, the white part is still blurred, the black is not, or very little. So you can vary it. So maybe you want just that front bit to be blurred. And you can keep applying until you're happy with the design. Right, just going to go with that. Go with something, otherwise you just... Now what you can also, of course, you can do, you can always go back to the arrow design there, and you can move that around, you can duplicate that design, and you can hold down the Alt Option key, and you can turn that into a smart object as well. So layer, smart objects, so you can do this multiple times, and it's still all editable. So what you can also do is you can add another blur to that. So filters and blur, Gaussian blur. And then, of course, go down over here. You can still edit this, so double click that. And you can bring up that, blending mode, lighten, difference, linear light, and so on and so on. So you can create all kinds of combinations of designs. Soft light. Click OK. What you can also do is you can colour as well. So you decide, you know what, I don't like that colour, the purple, whatever. What you can do, you can go to image adjustments and then you go hue saturation and then you can just modify that. So maybe make it like nice golden colour there. And you've got that design. At this point, of course, that's it in terms of all the blurs. I'm not going to go and add more and more blurs. But what you can do, if you decide, you know what, Actually, I don't like that design now, the, the, the arrow design. What you can do, you can always double click. Double click on that. Double click on that. Double click on that. And now you're down to the original shape. In fact, you might turn around, you know what? I don't like that style anymore. So you can always go to layer, layer style, bevel emboss, just get rid of it. So you can get rid of the bevel emboss. And you can then maybe change, let's go down and drop shadow, just change that slightly. Maybe change the gradient, maybe rotate it around. Maybe you decide, you know what, I want to slightly, hold down the shift, slightly flatter design like that. And you can or maybe add, and you can also add other elements as well. So maybe you decide, you know what, I'm just going to go for, oh, I think I'll have an ellipse there as well. Let's just hold down the shift. So you can just add. And just add a couple more elements there. So you've got a slightly different arrow design there. Of course, what you can do, you can close it again. And you notice they're all PSP files. So click there to save. And you can see it's updated for all of them. Click there, save. Click up there. And and you can see the end result. And of course, what you can do, you can still go and turn that if you want to. Again, layer, smart object, convert to smart object. So the whole thing's a smart object. And then you can go to layer, layer style, Bevan and Boss, and so on. So you can see, you can create some very abstract designs as well as, I mean, well, obviously you can vary those. Maybe not. And you can vary, obviously, 
the contours and so on and so on. And click OK. So that's Gaussian blurs with shapes, with smart objects, combining them using blending modes and also combining styles, etc. There's a lot of different things you can do to create all kinds of weird and wonderful shapes, which are all still, at the end of the day, still editable all the way down to just modifying the actual underlying shape. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Photo, and many other applications as well. Also, uh, if you've got any comments, always appreciated. Anything I've done wrong, anything I've done right, please let me know in the comments. Always nice. A dislike or like. Also, please check out the Graphic Extras website. Lots and lots of video tutorials and tutorials and things on there as well. Always adding new information on there. Thank you much.